Okay. Good day, folks. Welcome back, traders. Uh, today I will be taking on the part two of this presentation, tied to the seven mistakes you're probably making right now, and the hidden facts to becoming a profitable forex and binary trader. Okay, but I think I'll just do a quick rundown of the part one of the previous section. Okay, I talked about trading and uh, how you can avoid mistakes. And then we went through about talking about having a trading plan. As a trader, you have to plan your trades and trade your plan. You have to learn to stop adding to the market. So you should know what you need to do part time in your trading. Uh, you have to know how many trades you want to take and how many percent of your account you want to lose. Then have you answered this big question? If you're a trader or a gambler, and I gave you the meaning of a trader and a gambler, a trader looks for consistency and a gambler looks for quick profit. So you make your choice. Uh, you, now you know the kind of market to trade on, on the trending market, because the trend is your friend. And uh, you can see an example of a bad market here. So this is not a good market to trade on. And here you can see a good market to trade on. I advise you to trade on such a market like this. And I talked about poor market analysis. I dwelt so much on people using, depending solely on indicators. I told you indicators are just secondhand information. They show you what price action has done. Those of you that use EMA, MA, crossover, most of my early stage of trading, when I was using all those things, you see the market has been going up. I started going up. After it has gone up, then that's when you see your stochastic, your MACD, your all those uh, indicators, that's when they will cross over. And when you place a higher option, it starts coming down. So I, I tell you, you have to advise to the process. You have to respect price action and you have to learn, learn price action. You have to submit to price action. And I showed you an example. This is a full screenshot of my account back then, as of 14th May 2019, the early part of my trading journey. You can see how it was, it was, it was very rough. And I talked about emotional trading, how you need to control your emotions. Uh, you don't need to put your emotions when you're trading. It's a reverse psychology. Don't give room to your brain voice. And uh, this reverse trading, trying to chase your losses, uh, is just a road to blowing your account. You don't need to chase your losses. You have to prepare for the next day. Believe in the long term. And I told you that the best way to trade without losses is to manage your losses. Okay, and today I'll be taking on the fifth mistake you're probably making right now is that you lack trading journal. Okay, lack of trading journal. Now, there is a striking quote here. They say, anything that cannot be measured is of no value. I come again. Anything that cannot be measured is of no value. So if you think your trading is, is valuable to you, you have to keep track of it. You have to measure it. As a trader, you really need to have a trading journal of all your trades and setups on a weekly basis. I do this. I don't, I, I'm not saying what I, I don't, I'm not telling you what I don't do. I do this every week, every day. I have my trading uh, journal, I have my notebooks, I have books where I keep my trading, I, everything, I document my trades. You can see if I didn't take screenshot of my account when I started in my early journey, I couldn't show, I, would, I wouldn't have been showing you here. So back then when I started, I've been keeping, I have a screenshot of all my trades, both the mobile, real account, everything. So you need to be keeping your trading journal and you should be writing in your notebook your experiences 
okay this will help you it will help you to track your progress and it can help you measure your winning ratio 87 percent of traders that lost money in the market don't abide to these rules of trading they don't abide to journaling and i bet you it's not about watching this video it's very hard I've, I've told so many people but it's very hard to keep a trading journal but i said anything that cannot be measured is of no value so if you think your trading has value you have to keep a journal this is a must do i repeat it's a must do for everyone in the financial industry because every financial related activities work with record keeping and accurate journaling in the bank they have their journal their ledger in the in the stock market everything works with journal everything financially they have a journal for it so and your trading that's it it involves money so you have to keep a journal you have to have a track record okay i can tell you from the day i started trading i was really taking this serious and uh, this an example of what i call a trading journal this is for binary options a trading journal she consists of days that's the days of the week from monday to friday uh maybe and then the second row the second column here is itm that's why i tell people you, that's why rule one is very important you have to have your trading rules and and plans so i tell people take five trades a day maximum or take 10. so if you be taking five or five to ten trades you can write how many itms you got and how many otms then you can write the pair i told you pairs are very important you don't just trade any pair so you write a pair and you write your balance on every on a daily basis you do this then on a weekly you you go back on weekends you go back to your trading journal and then you can frame up your statistics you can know how many trades you got in 10 trades 10 trades uh, in how many days will give you uh, 100 trades then you can measure how many losses you had how many wins then from there you can easily frame up your winning ratio and the last one here is your balance this will help you to keep track of your balance if it's increasing and it's going down you keep on writing your balance what you start and what you end with okay and below the table of your trading journal is reasons for losses i do this too so you have to have your reasons for losses your otms you write them down why did you lose you keep track of it why did i lose what happened there and you write secondly lessons learned you i i do this every day i i write the lessons i learn from my losses i learn from my losses so that it will repeat itself so you have to track them then you write solution again this solution should, con you should consist of precautionary steps to take to avoid such an otm again so maybe you didn't look well you didn't look for levels very well or you didn't draw your levels correctly maybe and that gave you an otm so next time you write learn to draw levels correctly it works i'm telling you once you start doing these things then you can see you have you start having a great tough in your trading and your trading career then lastly screenshots you can see i i i, I applied the screenshot for some people that don't know how to take screenshots on their computer on their pcs uh, you can use this to sniping tool is on every computer you use this tool to take screenshots of your trades i i i, I, will, I will keep on showing you some screenshot of my trade every day i take screenshot of my trades i i track them i take screenshot of the market this helps me to learn sometimes i advise people take a screenshot of the market and you just take them to look you just look at offline charts understand what has happened before those who build your experiences okay so with this you can easily track your winning ratio very well and you can know in 10 trades how many wins and how many loss okay so 
Forex and binary trading are different. You see, in Forex, you can place your trade and come back to check it the next day. But in binary, your, your heartbeat counts the minutes. <laughs> uh, your, when the trade is running at the loss, in 30 seconds time, you see your heart beat will beat more than 30 seconds. So you have to track how many trades you need to take a day. How can somebody be taking 20 to 30 trades a day? Hi! That's huge. You have mental fatigue. It's brainstorming. Okay? So you have to keep it low, keep it simple and smart. Uh, it's a daily target you want to be achieving. Okay? So you have to track your trades. Focus on building consistency for now. You don't need to focus on money. Okay, focus on building consistency and confidence with time. The, the time you trade, the time you took to the time you use in taking five trades will constantly diminish as you gain confidence and and the consistency. As a beginner, five trades in five hours is no problem. I don't I, I, I it's not a problem. You can do that. Okay, it's a daily target, not a hourly or mini target. So don't put pressure on yourself trying to chase price. Have a trading journal. Once you keep this record, then you can build confidence and consistency. Then you can start placing five trades in a few minutes. But at, at this beginner level, you have to take time to place your trades. Okay? So now after having your trading journal, you have your trading rules, you have your plans, you know the market to trade on, you know you don't trade emotionally, you have good market analysis. Uh, the next mistake you're making right now is that you lack money management. Lack of money management. This is very powerful. Uh, from, uh, this is a quote from Larry Heights, one of the big stock traders back then. He made a striking quote. He said, frankly, I don't see markets. I see risks, reward, and money. He said he doesn't see markets. He see, all he sees in the market is risks. You're risking your money for reward, or you're trying to make money. So everything in this market is risks. A reward. So trading is a high risk pursuit. We all know from time to time, all traders lost money. I've lost money before. But the thing is to manage your risks and never put at stake what you cannot afford to lose. You can see even in this video, I made a disclaimer at the, at the start. You don't need to invest money you cannot afford to lose. Okay, so you have to keep track of your money management plan. Do not try to make massive gains in percentage returns. You don't need this now. You don't need this. Uh, I follow the big traders in this industry, like George Soros and the big, big guys, big, big men in this industry. They don't, they don't trade too much. They don't chase too much profit, but they are the top traders. Uh, you have to believe in the long term. You don't judge your trades by daily or few this thing. You have to believe in the long term. You have to check your weekly results, your monthly results, or your yearly. How far you've gone. That's why trading journal is very, very important. Okay? Now, this is the most important part of this. The number one rule of trading is to protect your capital and not making money. Did you hear that? The number one rule of trading is to protect your capital and not making money. If you go to your broker's website, what do you see there? You see a, dis a rich disclaimer. 
They say the financial market is risky. Don't avoid, don't invest money. You are not afford to lose. If you go to IK Option with tutorials, they will tell you this video is an investment, investment advice. So everywhere you go, you're hearing you can lose your capital. You can lose your capital. So this should tell you that the main goal of this market is not to make money. It's to protect your capital. You have to prove them wrong. You can see every year, about five years now, they have been giving the statistics that 87 to 90% of traders lose money. So you have to break that rule. You have to, you have to prove them wrong by not, by, not, by not losing your capital, by protecting it. So when you trade with a good and realistic money management plan, you are less prone to reckless behaviors in trading. Okay? On the other hand, you believe in luck and anticipate the inevitable. So many people anticipate for inevitable wins. So when you are more at tricks, you trade carelessly. Okay? So it is it's not really how much you make in this market that matters. Okay? It's not really how much you make. You start bragging. It's by protecting your capital. Uh, money management plan is, very, is key. Money management is key in this industry. I tell people time has no bearing on money. I will explain. If you're not able to meet up your daily targets, why pressure your account? Why struggle? Why, why worry? When you can meet it up tomorrow? When you can meet it up next tomorrow, time has no bearing on money. So I want you to have a paradigm shift right now. I want you to take off your eyes off what the internet has portrayed to you, whereby you, you want to pressure yourself to make much, so much money in a few minutes, in two, in two hours. You don't do that. Time has no bearing on money. When I started in my early journey of trading, uh, I was so skeptical about the market. I thought one day or two, this market might close, this market might crash, something might happen. So I wanted, I wanted to make much money anytime I want to trade. But I tell you, that's a big lie. That's not true. This market has come to stay. Okay? This is not a multi-level marketing. This is not MLM. This is not networking. These are not Ponzi scheme. The financial market, the forest market, is the largest market in the world and it's not crashing anytime soon. So far as we have financial dealings every day, so far as we spend money every day in the world, the banks are open, the governments are open, hedge funds, everything. This market cannot close. You can quote me, you can quote me anywhere. I put that to you. So relax. Time has no bearing on money. Don't go all in. I tell you, when you start doing reverse trading, trying to chase your losses, you go away from your money management plan. It's very wrong. Don't judge yourself with short-term results. Okay? I told you, believe in the long term. A daily result, a weekly result cannot, cannot define who you are. Cannot define your trading. Cannot define if you're successful in trading. So, and the major theme of this presentation is becoming a profitable trader. So for you to become a profitable trader, you have to believe in the long term. Okay? You have to believe in the long term. And here is a striking quote. There is a great difference between making profit and being profitable. I think I've said this before. Okay? There is a great difference between making profit and being profitable. It's not how much you make that matters in this market. Because it's like a trophy team today. Uh, it's like a trophy team. Most of you want to make so so amount of money in a few hours, in a few minutes. But it's not, it's not really about that. It's about protecting your capital. Uh, this is a trading tip from Mark Douglas, the author of uh, The Disciplined Trader. Uh, he said a striking quote here. He said, The hard code reality of trading is that every trade has an uncertain outcome. 
every trade has an uncertain outcome. So most of the time, when you see me place my trade, I'll tell you, let's see how it goes. It must not be like that. I, I, I've done my analysis. I know it to respect price action. But sometimes you see me, I still have losing trades. I lost trades because we don't own the market. It has an uncertain outcome unless the, unless the trade is finished. So don't go all in. Don't chase big money. You have to relax. Uh, okay, this is, a, this is a money management plan I have here. Uh, a, a one month money management plan. Uh, you got, yeah, this is about one month. Three trades per day. We are starting with $10. So we are targeting $2,600 in one month. And how are we going to do this? If you could take three trades per day with at least 10% of your account, on the first day, you're using 10% of your account. And in three trades, you end up, your balance after profit should be $12.50. So if you, if you can consistently follow this plan for one month, Look at, can you see? Look at where you be in one month. I just made it a round figure, two thousand six hundred dollars. That's a good money. And here you can see notes. When you win three trades, when you win three trades per day, you go out, you close the market. But if you lost two trades continuously, then you have to go one day level back. You don't chase your losses. You don't chase them. You go one day level back. You repeat it again. Time has no bearing on money. Okay? Now, this looks good to you. you I know you want to achieve this in, a, in one month of trading. But how about you achieve this in three months? Is it too big? You don't like it? It's too small? It's not realistic? I, I don't know. I don't know. This is a money money made plan for one more, but you have to know your winning ratio for you to achieve something like this. For you to achieve something like this, your winning ratio should be minimum 70 to 80 percent. Okay, so but how about you don't you, you were not able to achieve this in the first month and you achieve this in three months? This will build confidence, this will build consistency for you. You have to take your eyes off getting rich quickly in this market. Because the internet has portrayed so many uh, mites and mystery to us that you want to do compound, uh, you want to make so much money in, in, in a very fast, in a short time. Allow compound interest to do the magic. Just stick with this. Stick with this money management plan. Uh, you don't need to bother. I will post this on my Telegram channel, on my Telegram group. So you can download the picture there. I'll post it. Okay, here's a quote from Steve Bombs, one of the big guys in this industry. He made a quote here. He said, with new jobs, people are okay with low starting pay until they gain experience. But with trading, they want to double their money in the first month. <laughs> that is a perfect mindset for losing your whole account quickly. You can see it. So, if you cannot achieve this in, in the first month, how about in three months? You, 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 you can attest to some, you can attest, you can make confidently say you achieve this in three months. That's an achievement. This is big profit. I'm telling you, this is very, very big. From $10 to $2,600 in three months. It's a very big profit. So you have to take your time. Okay? And uh, I have another... Money management plan here. This is a uh, hundred dollars forex plan. Yeah, you can use this for forex and you can use this for for binary too. And uh, is it is a one year plan? And our starting balance is hundred dollars. Yeah, this is a business. Trading is a business. I don't advise people to trade with anything less than fifty to hundred dollars. Yeah, they told you minimum investment is ten dollars, but that's just a lie, so that you can easily see $10 in your grandma's purse. That's not true. This is trading. You have to take it serious. 
I advise people trade with good money. Once you, you know, when, when you deposit ten dollars and you lose two trades, that's seven dollars. You start having emotions. You start being skeptical. You're afraid not to blow the account. Okay, that's very small. But when you have something like fifty dollars, if you lose three trades, about ten percent of your account, you're still having about thirty dollars. You still have some good money to trade on. So I don't advise people to trade uh, with little money like that. Yeah, I know people that can make profit from $10, but why pressure yourself and uh, start losing that money to the market? Okay, here. Uh, this is, we are targeting daily profit of $5. That's about 5% of our account. And if and if you, if you can do this for a week, that's about five times five. We'll be trading for five days. You don't trade OTC. You don't trade Sunday. Your weekly profit should be twenty five dollars. So if you can make twenty five dollars in a week, in a month, that's about four weeks. Twenty five multiplied by four, that's hundred dollars. So at the end of the month. You've been able to double your profit, your, your 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 sorry, your balance, your equity. If you can achieve hundred percent of your account in a month, what are you looking for? Is it too big? Is it too small? Is not realistic? I don't know. Okay, look at the second month now. Our balance again is two hundred dollars. We are targeting five percent of our account. Now five percent of our account is ten dollars. And in five days, we are making $50. And if we could make this again for four weeks, we'll be having $200. That's about $400. $400, you can see it's increasing. It's multiplying. Now, in the third month, $400 again, your 5% of our account is $20. Wow, $20. You can even use this to deposit on, on, on somebody's account. This is about 5% of your account. And in, in a week, you're making $100. And in a month, you're making $400. So your total profit for the month now is $800. You can see how it's increasing. I can go on and on, but let me just show you in six months, look at where this can land you. If you can consistently follow this plan, in six months, look at what you'll be achieving. This is about $6,400. Hey, 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 let me tell you, I don't know about you, but in my country, this is a good money. In my country, this is good money. So why not stick to this? Okay, let me shock you. How about you are not able to achieve this in six months? And you achieve this in one year and six months? I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. If you cannot, if, if you are not able to achieve this in the first six months, of your trading, how about you achieve this in one year and six months? You just pay yourself. Apart from your job, apart from your struggles, stocks, you know, you just have a side hustle like trading and you just pay yourself in one year and six months without any struggle. I bet you when you place your withdrawal in your account, the broker would never have anything to tell you. They will just file your withdrawal immediately because they, they know that you consistently grew your account. Your equity curve rise. Okay? I have, a, I have seen people that contact me that they told me that they make huge profits, but they were not able to withdraw the profit. You don't know these brokers, they have a database, they have a statistics of how everybody is trading. So the guys, they use bots, they use a automated system. And they were like about three to four friends that did that. He told me that IQ option, they blocked their account. Because they find out that what they did was humanly impossible. How can you make such a profit in short amount of time? So you have to, you have to succumb to the process. Allow your equity curve rise. I bet you everybody that plays withdrawal in IQ option, they have to verify it. Depositing is instant, but I bet you withdrawal is not instant. Okay? So you have to be careful. You don't chase massive gains in the market just like that. Once you place your withdrawal in the, on, on, on your platform, they will check how long were you able to make this money before they allow you to take your money. 
I can tell you when I started trading, when I make when I made profit, I was showing my withdrawal proofs. There was a time I placed a withdrawal. They had to tell me to verify my trades. They sent me a mail whereby I was able to. They they said I should I should send the trade I took, the pair, the option, the amount, the trade size, everything. I had to send my trades on a mail and they had to verify it before I was able to withdraw. Okay? So you have to follow money management plan and, uh, and allow your equity grow. Okay, I can go on and on, but I don't need, I, I don't want you to put, take, uh, take your eyes off this 12 months. Uh, if you put your eyes there, I don't think we'll, we'll, we'll finish this video today. You can see what company stress can do for you in 12 months. Uh, if you get to this level, wow, this financial freedom. This is what they call financial freedom, okay? These 12 months uh, uh, is crazy, but we can achieve that, okay? If we follow our money management plan and discipline, okay? Uh, so, yeah, okay, this is another money management plan. I'll be posting all these pictures in my Telegram channel, in my Telegram group. You can join me in the link in the description of this video. So you don't need to worry. And you can see it. We don't trade OTC. We don't trade Saturday and Sunday. This one is more detailed. This one has uh, the number of trades, the percentage, the payout, and the net profit, everything. So you can follow this money management plan. This is about four weeks. This is about five weeks money management plan. With $10, you can make $2,900, okay? So these have to become profitable. But you have to know your winning percent, your winning ratio for you to achieve this. Okay. I think that was a great one. Now you have your money management plan. You have your trading rules. You don't trade the emotions. You know the market to trade. And you know everything now that is... That is good in the market. Uh, but uh, the last mistake you're making right now is that you're not respecting the process. What I say? You're not respecting the process. Trading is not gambling. This approach may work once or twice, but I bet you it will ultimately fail at the end. Learning the trading concept, blowing off accounts, having losing streak, all are required in your trading journey. Okay. Uh, Alexander, Alexander Elder, in his book, The New Trading for a Living, he made a statement there. He said, Most of the times, after your boasts to your friends and uh, to your guys that you can trade, and after a few days, you blow your account. Uh, he said that that's one of the most frustrating moments of everyone's life. But he said something that, that you don't need to worry. We all have been there before. I've blown my account so many times. I even borrowed money from friends to trade. After claiming I can trade. You see, but today, after respecting the process, the story is not the same again. So you need to stop changing strategy or systems. Looking for holy grail strategy. You just don't need that. You need to understand yourself. Okay, you need to understand yourself first. You don't need changing strategy or systems, looking for indicators, looking for automated systems. You have to respect the process. It takes time. Things will turn, but it takes time. Now, the end goal of trading is to accumulate is to accumulate profits, is to accumulate wealth as, as much as possible by speculations. However, in order to get to the end, you have to concentrate in the things that make money, not money itself. Okay, right now, in your early stage of trading, I advise you to take your eyes off money. Okay, you have to respect the process as a trader. So things will definitely turn from there. Every trader has a journey he or she must go through. I've gone through that. I've paid my price. 
Okay? So, learning never ends. You never stop learning. I tell people, if you learn a lot, you earn a lot. So, you have to respect the process as a trader. With time, you start being profitable. Okay, here is a striking quote from Warren Buffett. I'm sure you guys, most of you should know him. He's one of the billionaires, the world richest man in the world. Uh, one of the richest men in the world, rather. He made a striking statement here. He said, no matter how great the talent or effort, some things just take time. You can't produce a baby in one month by getting nine women pregnant. Okay, this man, if you see, if you know him, you can know that this man is an epitome of patience. Okay, so you have to respect the process in trading. Yes, I know you have all the trading, go, uh, the trading plans. You have uh, all the strategies. You have all the courses. You have videos. You have tutorials. Uh, but I beg to you, I, I advise you just have patience. Respect the process. It takes time. It's a journey. It's a journey. I, I, I showed you my, my previous screenshot. How I was losing money. But today is not the same. So you have to respect the process. You can see this image here. He said the struggle you're facing is a test to, set, to see if you're truly committed to the life you say you want. Are you sure you really need that financial freedom? Do you really want this? Do you really want this? You hit rock bottom so many times. You blow your account so many times. But do you really want this? I tell people, are you interested or you're committed? There's a difference with that, in that. You have to be committed to this craft. You have to be committed. If you have interest, you might give up on the way. But when you're committed, you can do whatever it takes to make sure you, you become successful. Okay, here is a quote from Alexander Erda. He said, the goal of a successful trader is to make the best trade. Money is secondary. So I advise, you take your eyes off money right now. You focus on consistency and confidence. You have to learn how to trade first. You have to respect the process. Money will come. If your trades are good, money will come. Okay? Um, okay, this is another screenshot. Yeah, I, 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 okay, very good. This is a full screenshot of my accounts. Back then, this was, uh, as of 21st July, 2019, uh yes you can see my trading history it was rough you can see my charts you can see the balance i never knew what i was doing then it was so frustrating i blew account i kept on re refunding my account i kept on depositing i kept on losing money but i respected the process i never gave up on the way you know, it was not really easy, but I, I kept on believing. I kept on being, being hopeful that one day things would turn. Okay, here is another screenshot. You can see, you observe the difference. The other chart was dark, and this one is light. This is when I saw light. <laughs> when I got light. And you can see this screenshot is a. Uh, as of 19 July, that's about how many months? As of 19 July, that was 9.18 a.m. I started, things started turning. I started getting to understand the market more. But you can see my charts. The indicators were a few now. It's about two EMAs, but I don't use this EMA back then. I was just using them for dynamic support and resistance. And you can see so many lines. I was just drawing levels, levels here and there. I never knew the one that is strong. And I was just drawing levels. But I was, I was, I kept on moving. I kept on learning. I kept on trading. Okay, I enrolled on the tournament. I think this was a weekly or a African monthly tournament. 
And you can see my position then. My position was nine position. This tournament they will give you hundred dollars and you and they will, and they give the winner the, the highest balance about ten people. Uh yeah, I think ten to fifteen persons with the highest balance to win. And you can see my position then. I was nine position. Things started turning. Okay, you can see. Can you can you imagine the kind of trade I placed there? This was a a, a breakout candlestick and this candle was a reversal, and I placed a higher option. This was wrong. You can see I was even wrong here, but I was just trying. I, I knew that at least I was understanding the market more, but you can see my ability then was not strong. But I kept on trading. I kept on believing. And here is another screenshot of my account. So far, I've created about three accounts in, in, a, in IQ option. Because I have I've lost money, I'll blow the account, I'll close it and create another one. Okay, I think this screenshot is not a really a full screenshot, but you can see the time here on IQ Option platform. This was uh, 28 November. That should be 28 November 2019. And you can see I was following money management plan, three trades per day. I think this was about 2 to 3% of my account as a day. I was using 2 to 3% of my account to trade. And you can see the history now. Things started turning. You can check from May, June, July down to November. That's about how many months? May, June, July, August, September, October, November. As a four months. Four months of studies, consistency, learning, and hard work. You can see. Uh, but as a November, things started taking a turn in my life. I started understanding the market more better. And you can see my chart more simple and smart. And I have reasons for my trade. Okay. Okay, here again. I think this is a full screenshot. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, this was uh, as of 12 June 2019. I could remember the day I closed this account. This was my first account. I closed this account and I took a screenshot of my balance history. You can see as at here, the first one here is third of 11. This is, this was March. March 11, 2019, I made a deposit of $30. And in a few weeks, I blew the account. I deposited again. In March 27th, I deposited $10. Uh, in a few weeks again, I blew the account. As at uh, this was April, that's fourth. As at 8th of April 2019, I deposited another $10. And in a few weeks, I blew the account. And I went on and on. This is April, May, June. You can see it. I had to close this account because I lost so much. I was so devastated. I was so frustrated. But I kept on believing. I kept on hoping. So far, I think I've created about three accounts. I created another account. I, I can bet you this was not the only account. I created another, another account. And I think I deposited about three to four times. $20, $10, and $20. I blew those accounts. But I, I closed that one with anger. I, didn't take, I was not able to take a screenshot like this. But I bet you this was not the only account. I created another account and I blew those accounts and I closed them. So you can see the journey was not easy, but I kept on respecting the process. I kept on learning. And back then, when things started turning, uh, this is a screenshot of my, uh, of my withdrawal. This withdrawal was uh, November 11. That, that's November. November 27th, 2019. As at 7.13 a.m., I made a withdrawal of about $13. And you can see it. You can see my balance there. My balance there was $91. Okay, you can see it was actually $100, 100 and something. I just withdraw $13. 
and the feeling of my first withdrawal, I can I can tell you it was it was not it was it was amazing. The experience was not was was really fulfilling. I just withdrew thirty dollar thirteen dollars. I had I, I just wanted to test. I just wanted to see if this was real. I've been trading for months, but I can't I can't, I can't tell you the first day I made my withdrawal, it was a dream come true. Okay, so I advise you respect the process. Just keep believing and things to turn. Okay, here again. Uh, it's another withdrawal. I made another withdrawal request. And uh, hopefully this is a full screenshot. Okay. Okay, you can see that one. As at 27th of November, 2019. And then as at the 4th of December, that's 4-12th, 2019. Okay, this one, make it, this one an error. Okay, let's focus on this one. This is the one we'll be focusing on. As at 14, as at 4th of December, 2019, I made another withdrawal of $140. Okay, you can see it. From May, June, July, I was been, I've been struggling throughout the year. But I, I can tell you that the light is at the end of it sooner. You can see as of December, I made a withdrawal of $440. I can bet you this was not this was the, not the whole balance. I was not able to okay, I forgot to put the whole balance here, but I can bet you I just withdraw some fraction of the uh, uh, some percentage of the account. And you can see some percentage. This was some percentage is at least this was a good money. You can see. In two months, I, I was able to recover all my losses. All the $10, $10 I was depositing, I was able to recover all. Okay, so I, I tell you, respect the process. Stick to it. And things will begin to turn for your life. You can use me as a yastic. You can use me as a motivation. You can see I didn't just start, I didn't just start from nowhere. I didn't just start from nowhere. You can see the journey. It has been it has not been an easy journey, but I kept on believing. And today things have turned. That's why you can see me. I'm making tutorial videos. I didn't start, I didn't start yesterday. It was not really easy. But I just want to impact life. That's why my, my tutorial videos, I do well to explain everything. I show you real how the market behaves. Okay. Uh today I'm making tutorial videos. That's about how many years now? Just one year, a few months. Okay? So you respect the process. Okay, I think that will be all for today. Uh, I'm sure you have understood the seven mistakes you're probably making right now. So hopefully, you would uh, start learning to avoid them. But I want to, this is the most important part of this video. I want you to do well to hit the subscribe button right now as you're watching this video and the notification bell so you can always get notified when I upload my next video and great content like this. I don't, I don't see why someone will watch a video like this, a content like this, and you won't hit the subscribe button. Uh, I don't know what you're waiting for. And don't watch this video without sharing to other people. Share this video. Share it. I want to see your shares. Share this video and post them to me. Send me screenshot of them. Okay? I took about three to three weeks to a month to prepare this. You can see I can use this as a mentorship. You can see this, this video is worth great content. Okay? Because I have you guys at heart. I took time to prepare this. So I want you to share this video with your friends, with your loved ones, everybody that trades. Share them in group, in forum. Make sure I see, I want to see your shares, okay? And then, I want you to leave a comment. Comment on the parts, on the point that really touched you in all the seven points I made, in all the seven mistakes you're probably making right now. I want you to comment on the point that really touched you, that you, that you, that really, fe that you really felt, and drop your questions, any question related to trading, and some trading doubts you have. Uh, I want you to drop your questions. Okay. And then most of the pictures I showed you here. 
they will be posted on my telegram channel and my telegram group so do well to join them you can see the link here and the link is still in the description of this video you can click the link to join the telegram channel and the group that's this telegram channel is 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 one of its kind i give great content there i will be posting materials pdfs I, I have I've been able to achieve so many things in my short period of trading. So I have a lot of materials and PDFs that I'll be sharing in that group and channel. So if you're not joined, I wonder what you're waiting for. Okay. So uh, I'll be posting that in the in the Telegram channel. So do well to join. And uh, okay just a quick one i advise you to speak these four lines to yourself every day as a trader speak this four line to yourself every day before you trade when you wake up in fact any time you feel like but especially when you wake up and when you want to trade you say to yourself i'm the best i can do it i'm a winner today is my day repeat them again I'm the best. I can do it. I'm a winner. Today is my day. Okay? Such affirmations are really good for traders to help you build confidence and consistency. Okay, I think that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your audience. Hope to see you at the top. I wish you good luck and good trading. Stay safe. Bye for now. Please do well to share this video.